Mm, feeling good. I'm back. I feel like it's been forever since I've been here, but this is the Common Good Radio Show brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. I am your one and only, your grandma's favorite pastor, Pastor John McClain, <laughs> here with the the authority of advertising, the master of marketing, the king of content creation, Oof. the chief marketing <laughs> officer of CS Designs, your one and only oh, wow. Sean Campbell. <laughs> You're that was remarkable. We, we missed you. Yeah, we I missed, missed you. being yeah. here, man. You could tell. Yeah, yeah, I could, yeah, you could, you could tell. What do you think that about that? That was amazing. That, that was amazing. You, awesome. Well, you deserve it, brother. Thanks, man. Yeah, like I'm, I'm Thank blessed you. to have you. Thank you. Not only as as a partner, but as you know, a, you know, a guy Ooh. to step in and have in my back when I need it. And I've been so proud to watch your rise. Ron and I had a great time last week. Oh yeah, it, it's you, you just you guys have too much it's fun. Kinda, me. That's why I gave you the golf ball before we started mm-hmm. because. You tee it up and we just knock it down the fairway. You you just drive right? driving it all day long. Yeah, we're even like, on the green, you guys, <laughs> on the put, uh, putting green. You guys yeah, are driving unfortunately, it, yeah. we are driving a little too far <laughs> on the green as well. <laughs> but yeah, but thank you, thank you as always. No, thank you. Yeah, thank you. But this would not be the Common Good Radio Show if I did not give thanks to a very loving father that's blessed definitely everybody in this studio in this station here today has made it so. Me and uh, this cool guy, Sean Campbell, get to do a radio show every single week. Has mm-hmm. made it so we have, uh, you know, amazing kids that we get to be fathers to and leaders to, and and mm-hmm. hopefully setting a model for the community as a whole on you know on how to be a good character human yeah. being. And um, yeah, let's just start well with the prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for allowing us to be here, allowing us to have one another to support one w- each other. Through your love, Lord, through your guidance, thank you so much for the blessings that you put in our lives, whether it be our friends, family, or our children, um, the opportunity you give us, the skills, the hearts that you've given us to help people, Lord, we thank you so much, and we ask that you help us reach other people to have a better relationship with you today, if nothing else. And your son's name, we pray, Am. amen. That was even better than your intro. Well, thank you, friend. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I just I, I miss being here, and I, I just feel so blessed having this show and be able to have you know a platform to just spread yeah. the good in the community, yeah. man. I, I think I was thinking about on the way in, and I won't talk about this too much because I don't want to take too much of our mm. our first guest time. Is kind of like a common good business certification program mm. where there's like maybe a process where businesses that want to kind of be common good certified hmm. there's a way to do that so yeah. maybe that's something that's we talk about on friday yeah i don't know but yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> but we have another great show for you today like we always do our first guest is going to be a gentleman who does solar i don't know if you've heard about it but it's a big deal and he's with solar source and then uh we're gonna have uh the uh, one of the owners of white stallion ranch if you haven't heard about it you'll, you'll hear all about it and then we have curtis rollman with action print and copy and then two amazing ladies with Better Business Bureau on this latter part of the show. Docket on the marketing Oof. corner. If you haven't got to love that yet, you're going to. But let's first start out with um, one of my new buddies. You're going to really get to love and enjoy this guy because he is just a bundle of joy. His name is Wesley Source. There's actually other names with that, but we're going to just stick with Wesley Source for now because it just goes so well with your marketing. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So welcome, brother. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me out. Yeah. So for, you know, those who, who you know, which is what this show is about, who, you know, have never heard of what is, you know, Solar Source and what you guys do, what you guys are about, you know, who is Solar Source? What do you guys do? Well, I'm Wesley Source um, and uh, we're Solar Source and that's S-O-R-C-E. Okay. Uh, I want to specify. Yeah, yep. So it's, I know it's now, S-O-R-C-E. So now yep. And uh, <laughs> that's important because on my Facebook page, uh, Twitter and and uh, everywhere else, it's S-O-R-C-E. Okay. There, it's my last name. Mm-hmm. So I got to make kinda sure. It kind of hurts on the Google rankings as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When they look for the wrong thing. Right. right. <laughs> I think I'm going to start a business called the Solar Source, spelled correctly, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's actually one in Florida. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're but not talking about them, though. They don't no. get any free advertising no. on this show. No. Yeah. 
Uh, but yes, yeah, so I'm I, we're residential solar, and uh, it's any any um, homeowner in Tucson that has mm. TEP, uh, mm. we're looking at different options. And yeah. Instead of having just the uh, the option of one utility, you can really save some money mm. by switching to solar. Yeah, mm. and you know, so you know, your your part, and I know Friday actually I have a consultation to sit down to get solar we do. On, yep. on our on our property and. I'm not, you know, not to to spoil too much, but uh, I was surprised with one, the initiation process and how easy it is to initiate it, and two, you know, the overall cost, and three, how easy it seems like it's going to be to kind of get from A to Z. So I guess let's start off with, you know, the initiation. Like, what is it cost to even to get started and get it going? Absolutely nothing. Okay. So up front, mm, I don't believe no cost. you. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, it's just time. So mm-hmm. uh, having me come out to the house uh, and do the initial consultation and uh, look over the bill, find mm-hmm. out what your actual needs are. Mm-hmm. And then we build a uh, custom uh, solar design based on your needs. Mm-hmm. And from there, uh, we look at pricing mm-hmm. and whether you want to do it as an investment uh, where you buy it outright, add it to your house, which adds to your home value, mm-hmm. or you um, you do it a monthly. You get a loan. You know you're you're going to save money regardless. If you're mm-hmm. paying TEP, it's just it, it makes sense mm-hmm. uh, to switch to solar. Interesting. And and so let's just say someone calls you. They have you come out. Um, you you they agree to to have it done. What does the next step in the process look like? The next step in the process is going to be the site uh, audit. Mm -hmm. So coming out and actually doing the inspection, we need to check uh, the roof to make sure that the roof is uh, up to standard so that it's going to hold the the system, Mm -hmm. um, that it's been repaired, um, that it's not in disrepair. Um, And then looking at the electrical uh, is the next big thing. The Mm -hmm. utility, making sure that that, uh, your um, main solar or your main power panel Mm -hmm. is ready uh, for us mm-hmm. to hook up, whether yeah. it's a uh, hundred amp service, 200 amp service, you know, we look at all of that to make mm-hmm. sure that uh, it can handle the load. And then uh, from there, we actually send it to the engineers and I sit down with engineers and we actually look at uh, the whole project, uh, map it out on AutoCAD uh, or a CAD program, mm-hmm. and then um, bring it back and say, this is your final design. Uh, from that final design, uh, if if you want to move to the next steps, then we go right into permitting. Uh, we pull all the permits. We get uh, everything set up. Once we get those approved, we schedule the installation uh, very quickly. Mm-hmm. And then uh, from the installation, uh, we have to have everything uh, inspected by the city nice. uh, or county. And then uh, from there, we go into the utility connect. Uh, once we get the utility connect, we power on and you're energy independent. Mm-hmm. Nice. And uh, from there, you're making you're making your own solar you know, yeah. or your own, your own power. Yeah. So so for those who want to who want to get involved, want to connect with you, you'll, they'll be hearing a lot more from you in future shows. But um, for those who want to you know, reach out to you today, want to contact you, what does that look like? Uh, if if you want to contact me, really, all you have to do is call 520-223-1729, and uh, I'll be able to uh, field those calls and, and get that taken care right. of. Say the number one more time. 520-223-1729. And how can they find you online just for fun? Uh, online right now, I'm on Facebook, okay. and uh, you can you can find me Wesley Source, uh, and that's again S O R C E, but uh, and uh, Twitter, and then I did start a um, another um, social media account, but nice. you should be able to find me uh, through those resources. Well, awesome. Well, definitely also go to Common Good Radio Show um, Facebook page and go to HomeCommunityServices.com and VeteranRescueMission.org to find out more about amazing organization solar source that's wesley thank you for joining us brother thank you we'll see you next time hello everybody welcome back to the common good radio show brought to you by veteran rescue mission highlighting the good in the community i am your grandma's favorite pastor pastor john mcclain <laughs> here with the sean campbell you like that why does it always make you laugh when you say that? <laughs> i would say that's what we went lie down that's what i would have started <laughs> off with because you always say like on the marketing car- corner the sean campbell so yeah, i felt like i needed yeah. to like match that energy mm, okay yeah. okay so okay you're welcome no oh, no yeah. thank you <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we have um, easily probably one of my favorite people in Tucson. Um, not uh, not for the reasons you think, because he's a, a cool cowboy and everybody wants to be a cool cowboy like Clint Eastwood, but. 
because he's kind of like the one of the unspoken stakeholders and um, pillars of Tucson, a- along with the organization that he's with, that people don't really speak about enough. And I, and I feel mm-hmm. so blessed to have this show because I'm able to highlight those organizations and those people so well with this show. But um, this gentleman that we, we are going to have on the show, we've had him on the show um, a couple few times before. I've had the pleasure of working with him for over a decade now. It's it's surprising. We got reconnected um, probably within the past couple years, but over a decade ago, I reached out to um, to to him or to you know the the organization he's with with uh, another radio show that I did and you know and wanted to you know be involved and promote the work that they did and um open arm open heart definitely game um to to be involved in the work that we did and and help the community any way as possible when I reconnected with him it was as if we never stopped talking and he was certainly game again he was seem real happy to hear about the work that I was doing and happy to support in any way Con- trying to connect me with other people that are doing good so it was just such a blessing to reconnect with this guy and and um if you don't know who he is his name is Russell True he is uh the, you know one part of the family the true family that runs White Stallion Ranch and um thank you once again Russell for joining us on the show and and for you know today for sharing um what I've been wanting to cover for a long time, the rich history of White Stallion Ranch and your family. Well, it's great to be here, and thanks for the kind intro. Yeah, well, I, I've been, one, trying to step up, step up my intro game <laughs> because I have a great co-host that is uh, a marketing genius, and, and he's, uh, he's, he's, he's staying on top of me. But two, it's, it's really easy with you because everything that I said um, is true. I mean, it's really, and I guess, let's, let's dive into that. You know, what, you know, Give us the the inception of the White Stallion Ranch, and you know, and what, you know, and what the White Stallion Ranch has meant to Pima County since its inception. Well, I mean, we're a dude ranch, and, and Tucson was the dude ranch capital of the world. There were 127. Now there's two, mm-hmm. us and Tanca Verde. Uh, our ranch started out like probably a lot of ranches out in in rural Arizona and the West in general. It was frankly just a squatter's ranch. Mm. You know, it was unregulated federal land. Somebody went out, they built a building, they built some crowds, dug a well, and started running cows on land that was owned but ignored by the federal government. So that's sort of lost to history. All we know is that the homesteader, David Young, in 1936, I met him and I said, David, why'd you homestead here? And he says, well, there was a house, corrals, and a well. It was a great start. Mm-hmm. Mm. So he homesteaded, proved up sold it almost immediately the Bruning family took over started running or continued running cows somewhere around their era or next they started raising chickens and turkeys up to Mm. 30,000 so they had cattle chickens turkeys Mm. but it had um, of course gone into private ownership when it was homesteaded and and then a man named Max Zimmerman who was the largest liquor store owner in the world Mm. Zimmerman's Liquor was one square mile on Michigan Avenue in Chicago, Illinois. Hmm. And so he had a cowboy dream. He, he, The rest of his life, he was known as Max the Hat. We have a great picture of him with a big old mm-hmm. cowboy hat on. And so he started the dude ranch. So he took the cattle ranch that was raising chickens and turkeys and pasteurizing milk and doing old school ranching. And he built 12 rooms started a dude ranch. I don't know how serious he was. Mm. Wife made him sell it in 48. A couple of uh, sisters, Mary and Victoria Varner, bought it. I met um, some of their, uh, two of their grandnieces and and granddaughter Mm -hmm. recently, and they said, well, uh, what do you know about how they bought the ranch? I said, well, I always heard Mary Varner was a governess to the DuPont family and they gave her a big settlement when she retired and she bought the ranch and they said yeah we heard that too we also heard it was something illegal but we're not sure (laughs) (laughs) and I said I'm not sure which I like better Uh but either way Mary was a great lady I knew her Uh, then she sold it to a couple of dudes as we like to refer to our guests Mm -hmm. who were from Massachusetts staying at the ranch across the hill Lazy K Bar and they wanted to have their own so they came over bought then named M. M. Z. Bar Ranch, Max Zimmerman, 
It had mm-hmm. been CB Bar before. Mm-hmm. So then they bought it. They re- they were going to rename it Black Stallion, mm-hmm. the famous Walter Farley story everybody's read, mm-hmm. at least everybody's heard of. So it was going to be the Black Stallion Ranch right up until this bolo was made with the initials of their new ranch. And I heard directly from someone who was there, Mr. Town's eyes rolled back in his head and said, I can't have BS stamped on uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So that ain't going to work. So uh-huh. they last minute replaced black with white mm-hmm. and got a WS brand mm-hmm. instead of a BS brand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, our parents, uh, my brothers and my parents were tired of snow cold and, and the business they were in in Denver. They'd been in Denver, Wyoming, or Montana their whole lives. And that was it. And one day my dad flew to Tucson, started looking for something to do, decided it was this. Hmm. My mother said, worst idea you've ever had. (laughs) And so he had to keep talking, and eventually she said, okay, if I can look at those mountains every morning when I wake up, Uh I'll let you throw our lives away. That's it. Fast talking and good mountains. That's a trick, huh? That that was (laughs) it. it. That Uh was it. Yeah. He he kept talking. There's a whole story around it. 65. 65. Okay. Wow. So... So you guys, you know, family got into the dude ranch business in 65. Um, we have probably about a minute. Let's quickly talk about some of the movies that have been shot there, and then let's get jump into how people can contact you and, and sure. sign register. Sure. 31 films, okay. feature films. We oh. keep adding one every once in a while, so you hmm. never know when a friend will say, hey, you were in this movie. Over 200 TV productions, including High Chaparral, all four years of its hmm time on air um we've done everything from swimsuit uh, edition for sports illustrated to three vogue shoots mm. to 13 reality shows to serious bbc and pbs documentaries to uh you know george clooney did a movie confessions of a dangerous mind ronald reagan did a movie there mm. called last outpost jimmy stewart did his famous western winchester 73 uh, a lot of movie and TV history. That's wow. wow. Yeah, that's amazing. That's really cool. Well, that's cool. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. And I guess real quick, uh, just list off the activities people can find there and, and how they can connect with you guys. Well, you know, obviously horseback riding is the core of any dude ranch. So mm-hmm. we have a varied riding program from slow rides for beginners to half day and all day for a little more experienced. And we have the whole broad gamut of, of riders come. We have cattle activities. We have beer and Cheetos and wine and cheese rides. So there's a ride for everybody who can mm-hmm. get on a horse. Mm-hmm. And if you can't, we'll get you there. And <laughs> and we do e-bikes, mm-hmm. real rock climbing on our mountains, 35 mm-hmm. different climbs. We have Jeeps. We have shooting, variety of shooting, mm-hmm. uh, archery. Yeah, we did the archery, my wife and I, there a couple months back. That was an, a mem- uh, you know. A, Memorable experience for a lifetime. Right. So I appreciate it. And entertainment every night. And the website. www.whitestallion.com. Awesome. Well, nice. thank you, Russ. Whitestallion.com. Russell True with White That's Stallion nice. Ranch. Thank you so much for joining us once again, brother. Thank you. Yeah. It's a little bit different vibe than the Beach Boys. Uh, yeah, it's definitely different. It's different, like this setup. I'm, I'm it's just, I'm getting setup. used to it. Like, yeah, this, it's still a cool vibe, though. Okay, but okay. I was, just, I was realizing, thinking on the way into the show today, why mm-hmm. that is. There's just something about your your voice. It's just like <laughs> so silky smooth. It just makes you just want to just I've sit been waiting back. Fifty two years for somebody to say that. You're Finally, welcome. it happened. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the marketing corner. We have two very special guests mm-hmm. here. Two. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Powerhouses. Powerhouses, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That should we reveal that last week they were supposed to be here or no? Uh no. We, <laughs> we will not we will not throw shade on them being wow. ten minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> one, one thing one thing about this segment, it's very authentic. It's an authentic right? segment. Right. It, it really is. The yeah. first goal is to make you smile and laugh. I mm-hmm. think we accomplished that. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, t- tell us who you are from the Better Business Actually, no, let me, let me introduce you. Okay. Because, right, you know, right, I, I'm right, so great at it. And I don't know that is I don't true. know how well you know Denise and Irene, but they, uh, uh, granted, I say this a lot, but I granted, I surround myself with amazing people. You they do. are two of some of my favorite people you do. on this planet. Mm. And just so you know, off, off the top, Denise is the hugger. Okay. Right there. And Irene, she's... She's the mastermind. I want to think she. She probably so, will never admit it, but I think she's the mastermind. So you're Denise and I'm Irene. 
Yeah, I'm definitely pretty much. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say she's the anti-hugger. The no, anti-hugger. no, I don't think you're anti. You'll, you'll throw a hug <laughs> somebody's way if, if they really need it. We're, like we're, me. we're, yeah, we're the same. Sure. Yeah. We're the same. Yeah. I'm kind of like, okay, let's hug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but these these women, um, we have the, the operations director. I think that's right. That's your title, Denise, and then the CEO and president of uh, Better Business Bureau of Southern Arizona, and Irene Coppola, Denise Alvarez. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yes. I, yeah, yeah. Me and my my memory, um, but they've uh, they they've been um, on Common Good Radio Show a few times and definitely been a, a support of the show for for quite a while. Um, the things that they do in the community, it, I could probably go on a whole entire show just setting that up. But instead, let's dive in today on what's going on with the upcoming Torch Awards. And um, for those who've never heard of the Torch Awards, let's kind of set them up and fill them in on, on what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think we've talked about it before, about BBB being known for the negative, right? Mm-hmm. If you have an issue, a complaint, you go to the BBB. And so really the Torch Awards are what allows us to celebrate ethical businesses in the marketplace. Mm-hmm. Um, and we do that whether you're an accredited business or not. Uh, but we um, honor and celebrate. Uh, this year we have 18 finalists. Mm. So we're really excited about that. Uh, but that's what allows us to celebrate the people that are doing right in the community and in their business. Mm. Yeah. And you know what? You didn't realize. I didn't realize this until I merged with CS Design Studios. But the first thing that's on their conference room is, well, I think it was last year's. Torch Award, right? Correct, mm. yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So we're very, very proud of that. We put that on our conference room, mm. and we brag about that for every client yeah. that comes in. Rightfully so. It's, it's a tremendous honor. And, tremendous honor. And, and, in, and in that same vein, you know, who are some of the um, Torch Award um, nominees for this upcoming year? So for the finalists, um, we just announced them on Friday. And so we're really excited, but we have, um, so we have different categories. The business Mm -hmm. category, um, it's based on employees. Mm -hmm. And so from one to 10 employees, it's Fox Roofing, LLC, Felicia's Best Personal Assisting, and A Authentic Garage Door Service Company. And I'm going to let Irene say the rest, because then she says I hug, I I hug hug the mic. Um, The second category, employee count um, 11 through 29, we have Ronnie's Handyman, and Home Services, Dynamic Comfort AC, and Done Right Services. The final category in the business ethics are uh, the employee counts 30 and above, Tucson Appliance Company. Are you doing that? Tucson Appliance Company. Yeah, you have company. to. Yes. They have to. <laughs> <laughs> Law Offices of Snow and Wilmer and Express and so we also recognize nonprofits. So we have two categories. We have below 1.5 million, and that's Southern Arizona Book Heroes. Ben's Bells and Reach for the Stars. Nice. And then the category above 1.5 million is Habitat for Humanity, the Girl Scouts of Southern Arizona, and Literacy Connects. Mm. And aside from that, we also um, have a category called the Spark Award, and that is for the millennial entrepreneurs. We have two finalists there. We have Katrina Calderon with Regal Fierce Media Mm. and Alan Romero with Perfection AZ Handyman. Nice. Yeah, I know, cool. I know a few of those finalists. I bet. Congratulations yeah. to them all. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what what makes an accredited business? I mean, w- what kind of standards do the, the does a BBB have? So accredited businesses, um, you know, we like to really explain that it, they're not perfect businesses and they won't make any mistakes, but they really just agree to uphold our standards of trust mm-hmm. So some of those include, you know, telling the truth, advertising honestly, being transparent, honoring promises. Mm -hmm. You know, if the contract says that you're going to do something, they're going to follow through with it. And also they agree to respond to any consumer complaints that they might receive. Mm. So it's, it's, you know, it's the sign of a better business, trying to be a better business for the community and for the consumers. Mm -hmm. Is there something different that you're doing this year? Something you want to tell us about that or no? Is it? 
Yes. <laughs> well, you guys gave each other a look. I don't know what that meant. No. <laughs> like, what's the Mid- test? No, yes. <laughs> midway, midway through that yeah. question, they're looking at each other and like, maybe I should ask. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes, because it's so fabulous. So this mm-hmm. year, we are having a Student Ethics Awards. Mm. So it is an opportunity for all, and all is in all caps, all Southern Arizona high school seniors have an opportunity mm. to submit a 30-second to 60-second video. So how many high school seniors do you know carry cell phones with them? And they're constantly doing videos, mm-hmm. uploading them to social media. A few. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we're just asking for a video to explain what do you think about ethics? What does es- mm. ethics mean to you? Mm-hmm. Submit that video to us. Um, you have an opportunity to win one of three awards, $2,000, $1,000 or $500 wow. to help with your secondary education. Mm, yeah. So what a grand opportunity. So South 32 is sponsoring the table mm-hmm. that where we will be um, awarding mm-hmm. the, young, the young crowd. Um, they will be um, invited to our dinner with a long... Uh, having them bring a couple of adults with them, their parents or um, maybe their teacher or something. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, so we're super excited about that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and when was the date and the venue, and how can you get tickets? Yes, yeah, so it's the Torch Awards are set for May nineteenth yeah. um, at five thirty at Casino del Sol. Again, they're presented by South Thirty Two. They're our, our sponsor, and so if you want to learn more about the event or the contest, you can go to bbb.org forward slash Tucson Torch. Yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Did you have a good turnout last year? Yes, we did. We had over three hundred and fifty people there. <laughs> Were they primarily? That's an event right yeah. there. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Did did the event break a lot of ethics? Did you take away the awards afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no party like a better business <laughs> bureau party. <laughs> no, we did not. No. <laughs> we'll, 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 we will take that part out. <laughs> we'll take that part out. We can always edit this down. So, do you do you guys have like? early bird <laughs> ticket pricing and different stuff like that? We do. We have our early bird ticket pricing available right now. It ends April 30th, and it's $119. Awesome. And then I see notes here, the Hall of Fame for the Arizona Jur- Journalism School, also Hall of Fame for the Arizona Daily Wildcat, Pulitzer Prize finalists. Go mm. on. Tell me more about these individuals that will be um, there at the event. Yeah, so our keynote speaker is David Fitz, Fitzsimmons. Oh, wow. um, um, he just retired from the Arizona Daily Star. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, so he's a member of the University of Arizona's Journalism School Hall of Fame. And we're really, really excited mm. about having him yeah. um, you know, be the speaker for us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I remember, um, I feel like maybe a month ago or within the month, we, we had lunch and you were telling me, that that he was going to be the keynote speaker, and that's pretty cool. That's uh, have you ever been in an event where he's emceed or mm-hmm. been? It, it's tremendous. You're Is mesmerized. It? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. So me and you're going to both be going to the torch awards. You're saying? Yeah, let's go online and get our tickets right now. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> May nineteenth. May nineteenth. Yeah. 19th. yeah. Oh. Okay. I mean that in itself. I mean, of course, the rest of the event is tremendous, but mm-hmm. just going to see him would be worth the price of admission. Interesting. Really, yeah. Yeah. I, I almost want to. Hey, what's the backstory? How do, you know on on getting him? Did you guys just give him a call up? Be like, hey, can you MC this event? He's like, sure. Yeah, I'm retired. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So I read the the paper, uh-huh. and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's retiring. He has time to do this. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> right? You're not the free time. You're just golfing oh. that day, anyways. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So what what are I mean for people like myself who've never been to the Torch Awards? What can they expect if the, you know when they attend? So um, the event begins at five thirty. It ends about eight thirty. So it begins with a networking um, happy hour, if you will. We have some hors d'oeuvres, um, and that's for about an hour. And then at six thirty, the doors open to the dining room. Everybody gets settled into their tables, um, and the show begins. Mm. So yeah, and it ends right around eight thirty. And um, it's just a, a great night to celebrate our local community, our businesses, and this year, our students. Mm. That should be interesting. And there's food, just so. There's <laughs> <laughs> really just good food. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, for those who, one last time, who want to sign up or get connected, how can they do that? Visit bbb.org forward, forward slash Tucson Torch for um, information about the uh, 
awards in the student contest, or um, you can give us a call at 520-888-5353. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. That's Denise and Irene with the Better Business Bureau of Southern Arizona. Mm -hmm. This is the Marketing Corner with the one and only Sean Campbell. I am your grandma's favorite pastor, <laughs> Pastor John McClain. Thank you for listening. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Common Good Radio Show brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. I am your grandma's favorite pastor, Pastor John McClain. And um, um, unfortunately, my co-host, Sean Campbell, is picking his son up from school. Not unfortunately, because he's picking him s his son up from school, but unfortunately, he's not here. So I'll have to bring twice the energy. Twice. <laughs> I, uh, I'm tired now. So anyways, um, we have our guest, Curtis Rollman, with um, Action Print and Copy here with me. He's uh, a regular on the show. Definitely one of my favorite guys to have on the show. Um, he's certainly teaches me a lot just about promotion kind of the dip all the different products that i can put my name and brand and information on and most recently i mean and it's and it's cool like how i have the, these group of friends that just do cool stuff and i i follow them on the on the instagrams and the facebook and i saw just recently um action print and copy was at an event and it was impressive seeing their setup you know seeing the setup of a place that does print and copy because it was like almost an outdoor mobile shop that they had because whether it's their pop-up and their you know com their branding and their complete look and name on everything from their pop-up to they had like this rack where it had shirts hanging on it so it looked like it was its own little clothing store and then their table and the you know the 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 banner and everything that's on their table that's in line with all their coloring and branding and then all the the stuff that they have actually underneath the pop-up that is kind of shows everything that they provide so it was just it was super impressive seeing that because like i definitely like to think of myself as someone who has my branding together and has everything in line but in comparison to what you guys have i was just like I need to set my game up. <laughs> so welcome, Curtis, well, to the show. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having me. Um, I'm glad you saw that. Uh, mm -hmm. I sometimes wonder about uh, Instagram and mm -hmm. Facebook and all that. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we try. Yeah, um, yeah we, we were at an uh, outdoor event, and we have a, a pop-up tent and mm -hmm. lots of signage. And, you know, I mean, we should we, – we believe we should live it as much as possible. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's always hard to – to do stuff for yourself when you're so busy taking care of other people's uh, uh, branding and mm -hmm. helping them with those kinds of things. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, we don't want to be the mechanic that drives the beat-up beat car, car that never yeah. works, right? Mm -hmm. So so we're always trying to do our best there. Um, we spend most of our time focused on our customers. But, uh, yeah, we, we uh, produce um, all kinds of different things for mm. trade shows, um, outdoor events. Um, you know, we had had a, a, a really good client of ours at the Saba uh, a few weeks, uh, mm. the home show, I guess, mm. you know, a few weeks ago. And yeah. and they have a trade show booth and it's just incredible all the different things that, that we can do now. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we design it, help the customer design it. And we've got a local, uh, you know, a manufacturer that, that builds a lot of it. You mm. know, we're not we're not screwing bolts into frames and every mm -hmm. little instant, every mm -hmm. little thing. But, uh, but yeah, we can provide that for our clients, and mm -hmm. it really makes an impact. I mean, when you're at one of those shows, it gives you a lot of credibility. Um, yeah. When you know a lot of other people maybe just have a just a plain pop up tent, mm -hmm. you know, for a few dollars more, it's really not a lot more. Mm -hmm. You can get your your brand on there and. And that particular event uh, did a lot of uh, drone uh, pictures and mm -hmm. things, and so mm -hmm. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing some of that footage because mm -hmm. you really stand out when you have when you have some things like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you noticed it. Yeah, 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 I definitely did. And you know, as you you know, as we both know, with um, social media, it's tricky. You know, and I I, I just I'm taking a, um, a broadcast media sales and marketing class right now. And in the class, the teacher just told us last class that it used to be seven times that someone needs to see your brand to recognize it. Now it's 21. Wow. So, um, yeah. I've, I've heard those numbers before, yeah. you yeah. know, and I've probably been on the low side of thinking, no, people <laughs> well, need we, to hear this well, message three times yeah. or whatever. But yeah, to hear yeah, we all are 21 times, that kind of makes sense. And that's yeah. why when you've been around a while and you've been you've been putting out the brand and the messaging and then all of a sudden things start to really mm -hmm. seem to explode. Mm-hmm. 
it's because of that. It just it takes time and and uh, so anyway, I'm glad I'm glad uh, it's being noticed. We did yeah. get a lot of good compliments uh, from well, people. Well, I I think you know you as much as you know Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and those and YouTube are part of this new expansion. I think also investing in the things that you do are part of that expansion too. Because yeah, you want to put out content, but content of what? Sure. Like when I when I do yeah. an event, like I want, like for my you know my first the month at the Arizona Sands Club, I do a the common good business breakfast, and I want my banners to be all over the place, and I want our literature to be all over the place. You can see I want logo to be all over the place. So these are you know things that I I want to be there. So that way, when I put out that content, the content you're seeing is you're seeing my logo all over the place, and you're seeing our organization name and that type of stuff. So that's why I see your stuff as absolutely pivotal but let's take a step back real quick and let's like let's just say I am you know John Q McLean public that wants to get you know wants the the premier like perfect setup for when I do an expo what what is what does that material look like and you know what is the stuff that you guys can handle well I mean so much of it starts with budget obviously mm -hmm. you know you got to have a realistic starting point we we add things all the time that's kind of how we do it but mm -hmm. but you know i think i think that um you know obviously banners signage in a, in the worst case you know you can put those up if depending on your space i mean mm. we can't use a tent mm. everywhere we yeah. go i mean you're mm -hmm. in a you're in indoors somewhere mm -hmm. so it's nice to have a large banner um, maybe a, a pop-up uh type uh you know backdrop mm -hmm. lighter you know more and more we're printing on lighter material foldable uh, uh, banner stands and mm -hmm. things like that because you got to haul all this stuff around mm -hmm. so you really want to think about that mm -hmm. um, tablecloths are great because you mm -hmm. can put a huge message mm -hmm. on something yeah most most places you go they're going to provide a table for you mm -hmm. so you you pop that on there and already you've got a huge sign right there mm -hmm. um, but you know everything from tents to uh, feather flags um, you know, we've we've been getting into inflatables mm. um, for that mm. that festival. We actually did a f an inflatable arch for the for the people that put that on, mm. and that that makes a huge statement. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, it sky's the limit, mm. but like I said, you just start with what what you're really trying to uh, the point you're trying to make and who you're trying to message to. But you know, I would just say add something each time you do an event, and pretty soon you've got this great arsenal. Mm -hmm. of things that you can put, you know, depending on the space and, and that sort of thing. So, yeah. so for people who want to get a hold of you and connect and, and have your services, how can they do that? Well, they can reach us uh, by phone, 520-829-3075 uh, um, on the web, www.printapc.com. We've got two local locations, one in Tucson and one in uh, the Green Valley and Sarita area. All right. Well, thank you for joining us once again, Curtis.